Hello friends, welcome to Joy Tutorials. So today we are going to see about uh, the last six months current FRs. Okay, so we will be covering steel plan, MD, CAP of NTPC, SSC banks and every other exam. These videos are enough and you can crack any exam current FRs in this 2020. Okay, so coming to this first question, we, are, we had this in June 2020, which of the following companies have won the world's largest solar bid worth 6 billion from the solar energy cooperation of india that is cesa so we know the answer is it is not loom or tata nor lg nor akm it is adani so why it is adani let's see that it is adani green energy yes so adani green energy agl has won the its first kind of manufacturing a uh, linked solar agreement from the Solar Energy Cooperation of India. Okay, going to the next question. This is the second question. In 20, June uh, 2020, uh, India has decided to reconstruct how many high schools in Nepal? He is asking in Nepal after the earthquake reconstruction in Himalayan nation with a grant of 2.95 billion Nepali rupees. So, can you uh, answer this question? Yes, it is 56. So, it is. 56 so let's see uh, so we know that uh, they had made total of 56 secondary school in seven districts of nepal as part of post earthquake okay we should know this that one rupee is equal to 1.56 uh, nepali rupees okay so just remember this they might be asking you also going to the next in june 2020 corner mc greer a mixed martial arts uh, from which country announced his retirement from the sport? He is asking the sport. He gave the name, Connor, uh, and then he is asking which sport. So the sport is, can you just uh, think which sport is that? It is very easy, right? Which country could be. Uh, yeah, it is from Ireland. Exactly, Ireland. So let's see this. So Ireland, this guy is a fighter. He is a mixed martial arts and he is taking... Uh, the retirement and going to the next it's the question is in june 2020 which of the following state has stopped among largest states he's asking largest states see this the deco the deco largest states in terms of food safety index released by fss ai you need to know what is fss ai okay you know food safety so right now let's see there are three things one is larger states and the second one is smaller states and the last one is union territory in larger states the top one is the gujarat okay gujarat is the top one and in the smaller states can you guess who yes goa goa is the uh, best has topped the top okay and in the ut it is chandigarh okay chandigarh uh, it has stopped so you just remember this very important to un understand okay and coming as i said you it is gujarat gujarat okay so yeah and coming going to the next when is the international day of the pre uh, preservation of ozone layer had been declared can you guess friends so it is very important to learn these dates because people are asking these dates uh, it is very important so the year is 19 89 and the day is 16 september exactly 16 september is the answer so uh, going to this the today this year uh, the theme is ozone for life it is for life the ozone okay 16 it is 35 years uh, of uh, god's faithfulness and going to the sixth question what is the rank of india in global house price index q2 released by leading international consultancy night prank it's very important friends and the answer is 54th so 54th is very important just uh, remember this uh, india ranked the at the 54th post among the 50 56 countries in the global house price index simple to remember it is last second the seventh question in september 2020 who among the following has been appointed as one of its 11 Panelists from across the world by WHO World Health Organization independent panel for pandemic 
preparedness and response can you guess who is the, who it, it came and it may be you know yes it is preeti sudan preeti sudan okay this is very important to learn friends because other people are also from who but preeti sudan had been in the committee okay going to the next uh, we can see that it is preeti sudan who the world health organization independent panel for pandemic preparedness and response appointed former health secretary okay she is an health secretary okay it's very important to understand and in uh, this is the next question in september 2020 so this is the district virunnar district of which state he is asking which state has been selected by the central government it is central government friends is not state government as the india's first fully digital economy district so wherever you go it will be fully digital uh, so it is exactly tamil, tamil nadu friends nadu. tamil nadu uh, has been the answer okay so fully digital, fully digital. it is uh, taken by full, uh, central government of india Okay. Tamil Nadu. And then coming to the ninth question, in uh, September 2020, the Union Cabinet has approved the establishment of all Indian Institute of Medical Sciences at which district in Bihar? So friends, we need to know that the government of India had given 22 aims. Like it, it said that it will establish 22 aims all in medical sciences by P M S. Yes, why that is Pradhan Pradhan Mantri Swastha Suraksha Yojana. Friends, it's very important to learn because they had asked in the last last exam for uh, for this uh, essay. Okay, very important to learn, friends. Also, uh, the answer for this is Darbanga. Okay, this is the answer. Let's go see. The Union Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has approved the establishment of AIMS. Okay, in Bihar. of this district ma bihar ka aadmi wo wo ka answer darbanga hai okay going to the next one this is the 10th one in september 2020 which of the following companies has announced uh, announced a 32 crore a grant for small businesses in india bhai behnam small businesses in india september after lockdown exactly after lockdown can you say it is very important facebook. yes facebook you might be thinking google or amazon no facebook because we can actually uh, do many of the things right so social media gained facebook announced a 32 crore that is 4.3 million dollars coming to the next business. in september 2020 gmr hyderabad international airport in collaboration with which of the following organized telangana ku harita haram Hashtag Green India Challenge function. You can can you imagine who? Yes, it is exactly CISS. CISS Central Industrial Security Force. It is very important to do to do to do do this because the GMA for Hyderabad and CF CISF had collaborated and then made it. Okay, friends. And coming to this, the twelfth question. Uh, it is in in. Uh, September 2020 who among the following has become the second men's player to reach 100 international goals oh 100 international goals he is the second men's player who is he cristiano ronaldo friends it's very important people may be keeping leonardo messi but it is not the answer it is the cristiano ronaldo friends it's very important now okay so we can see this on september 9 portugal's cristiano ronaldo began the second man player to reach 100 international goals and coming to this second question according to release from the ministry of science and technology 11 teams of the scientists of india along with the scientists of which country will soon start jointly shouting sc- scouting for out of the box covid 19 solutions can you guess who it is exactly usa exactly yeah usa and india also had an uh, relation we can we call it as quad quadrilateral bilateral relationships okay in quad which which countries are there usa india and then we also had japan and then australia want to come into this okay it's very important to uh, learn even this according to the release from the ministry of science and technology 11 teams of india and us scientists will be soon jointly scouting for the 
out of the was covid 19 solutions okay friends now the 14th question is that in september 2020 an american commercial cargo spacecraft bound for the international space station has been named after which of the following astronauts bye bye hello astronauts is, it is uh, our kalpana chawla okay it's very important friends so we know who is kalpana chawla she is the first indian woman and to go into space okay okay yeah friends an american uh, commercial cargo was play, named after kalpana chawla okay she is an indian born woman to enter space now coming to the 15th question it is very important friends in uh, september 2020 the appointments committee of cabinet will be calling it as acc approved reconstructing of railway board who has been appointed as the first chief executive officer ceo can you say who is he he is vinod kumar yadav okay friends we can remember it as yadav acc vkv vkvy okay just remember this very important friends okay so uh, the appointments committee of the cabinet has approved uh, the appointment of the current chairman of the railway board vinod kumar yadav as a ceo making as first ceo in rail history until now there are no ceos but right now the railway has made him the first ceo now coming to this which of the following countries has been ranked top in the global innovation index 2020 released by the world intellectual property organization on september 2nd so on september 2nd who but before going to that let us know w i p o where did it as uh, uh, where did it started it started uh, at the rate of like uh, when it started it started at the rate of 1967 what is its headquarters its headquarters is geneva okay so can you say on 2020 if where so in on 2020 it is on switzerland exactly switzerland so coming to this uh, so you just read this you can also take a screenshot of this uh, okay now coming to this 17th question of uh, in september 2020 which of the following has launched the atmanirbhar bharat arise an initiative to spur applied research and innovative in india's msme which is micro small medium enterprises and startups so it is a uh, very good, good to learn this it atal is, innovation mission atal innovation mission so atal innovation mission is very important to learn we will also call as aim okay uh, it is uh, taken by niti ayog launched the atmanirbhar bharat arise atal new indian challenges okay and coming to this 18th question uh, in september we are going in september right now uh, union minister education minister ramesh Pokhyal announced to set up Kendri Vidyalaya in which of the IITs? IIT is one of the best institution for technology, Indian Institute of Technology. So he had said that uh, Kendri Vidyalaya will be in the one of the IIT. So can you say which IIT? It is IIT Indore. IIT Indore, exactly correct. So IIT Indore, uh, uh, Kendri Vidyalaya will be in this IIT Indore. Okay, bye, bye. No. So coming to this in. September 2020 which of the following states has approved to expand the dindyal scheme Rast madhya pradesh it is madhya pradesh friends i will be showing you this pic very important pic see these people are eating this right so as we as other states had put uh, schemes in even in madhya pradesh has approved to expand it dindyal rasoi scheme okay now coming to this 20th question in september 2020 the international solar alliance isa will be calling it as isa has signed an mou with which of the following for implementing solar energy projects in 47 member countries of isa okay 47 countries which has approved ntpc has approved which has approved NTPC. NTPC has approved. So we can see this: the International Solar Alliance (ISA) has signed an MOU with India's largest power generator, NTPC. Okay. So the question is: 
when is the world youth skills day observed every year see every year when is the world youth skill do you know youth people youth are the backbone of the nation youth are the sector be jali jali 15th jali 15th july okay 15th july is the world youth skill day okay friends next going for this so it is uh, world youth skill day next going to this in july 2020 the supreme court delivered the judgment on uh, padmanas padmanas swami temple the padmanas swami temple is located in which state you know this right it is very prominent in news it is in kerala kerala very important friends because it is very important to learn about this in july 2020 which of the following stock exchanges has signed a memorandum of understanding mou with iit alumni council to encourage listing of startups okay uh, listing of startups bombay stock exchange it is b s e bombay stock exchanges had taken the uh, uh, has signed an mou with iit alumni council to encourage listing culture coming to this 24th question according to the first All Indian Happiness Report. Which of the following states has been ranked top in the happiness ranking of states and union territories? Mizoram. Exactly, friends. It is Mizoram. Why Mizoram? Because in the happiness ranking of states and union territories, Mizoram, Punjab, Andaman, and Nicobar lands are in the top three. Mizoram, Punjab, and Andaman, Nicobar. So very important to remember, friends. In September 2020 which of the following companies has won the contract to construct a new parliament building 861.9 crores is exactly tata projects people me there is also other uh, people will be going with lesson uh, lnt or else people will be going also with gmr group but the answer is tata okay tata steel tata okay tata projects tata projects just remember this tata projects Uh, it's a cost also six hundred eight hundred sixty one uh, crores. Okay, and the, under the Bala Sahib Baba Sahib Takare Accidental Insurance Scheme, an accident victim will be provided a treatment up to how many rupees? How many rupees, friends? It is up to thirty thousand rupees. Okay, uh, so Jeez, under this. Sagar. Under the scheme, we will be getting a free treatment up to thirty thousand to any person injured in a road accident in the state. Okay. Okay. In September twenty twenty, Raghu Sharma, a health in minister of which state, has flagged off five bike ambulances, our first responder vehicles. Okay. Rajasthan. It is Rajasthan, friends. Okay, take a time to learn this Rajasthan. Yes, uh, Ravi Sharma. Okay, Sharma. who is the pres- uh, Chief Minister Ashok? Okay, uh, so just go through this. Very important uh, to learn this. Okay, like five bike ambulances. Okay, and then coming to this in September twenty twenty, which of the following companies has announced a partnership with google cloud to deliver accelerated business intelligence platform can you say that friends it is hcl exactly yeah, hcl. hcl okay hcl had took the partnership hcl and google cloud announced the expansion of their partnership to bring hcl's act asian proto, uh, proto follow okay Now going to the next in September 2020, which of the following companies has partnered with ICMR approved lab healthcare to offer coronavirus testing facility to its domestic and international passengers? Go Air. Exactly, it is Go Air, friends. So Go Air had been with there. Okay, budget carrier Go Air has partnered with ICMR approved lab. Oh, it is not ICMR, but it is approved ICMR approved lab. Okay, to offer coronavirus testing in September 2020 again, a team of international astronomers have detected traces of phosphine gas in the atmosphere of which of the following planets? Venus. 
it is venus friends okay the astronomers have located traces of phosphine gas yeah, okay on september 14th okay coming to this we need to learn in september 2020 who among the following has been conferred the lifetime achievement award by euro money awards for excellence 20 of excellence 2020 can you name the person he is none other than the aditya puri have you ever puri kya puri aditya puri okay oh, lifetime yeah. achievement award euro money awards of excellence 2020 Okay. Now, in September 2020, which of the following companies has partnered with learning platform Coursera? Okay, many of you know this Coursera. Uh, AU students and IIT students, many of you know this uh, Coursera to offer a social media marketing professional certificate. Facebook. Exactly. We also learned before Facebook had given loans to many of the small industries. And also, which of the companies has partnered with the learning platform? It is Facebook. Okay. Social media gained. Facebook has partnered. Okay, now coming to this, uh, Russian Direct Investment Fund, we will be calling it as RDIF, has partnered partnered with which of the following to conduct clinical trials of this uh, vaccine in India. Okay, can you say which of the which is the company? It is Doctor Reddy's Laboratories. You might be seeing the Doctor Reddy's Laboratories has been uh, the share of the share has been increasing, right? Yes, see this. Okay, uh, so if you can go with this, uh, the Russia and then the Doctor Reddy's has been collaborating to give this vaccine. Okay, the Russian Direct Investment Fund has partnered with Doctor Reddy's Laboratories. Okay, put Nick B vaccine. Now coming to this in. Uh, Which of the following countries has declined to remove Queen Elizabeth II as its head? Decided to remove Queen Elizabeth II as its head of state and became a republic. Barbados. Barbados. Okay. So Barbados has decided to remove Queen Elizabeth II as its head of its state and became a republic. Okay. You need to remember this. and comes is the first blood bank of dog for dogs in north india has been established in which of the following cities blood bank for dogs have you ever uh, imagine that even dogs can have blood bank yes they can have it is in ludhiana ludhiana okay ludhiana ludhiana has started first blood bank for dogs okay if any dog if you have a dog you can take to ludhiana for treatment if they need blood okay and special blood bank has been established right guru angad dev veterinary and animal services university in ludhiana okay in ludhiana okay in september 2020 who among the following were conferred the lifetime achievement awards see again lifetime achievement awards okay data and then ratan data and then anand mahindra and r narayana murthy these three had been ah, given the mahindra given the Anand awards narayana murthy what are the awards lifetime achievement awards for the world digital awards first edition in india is to these three people ratan data anand mahindra and our narayana murthy we need to know all list of all the people that's that it will be easy for you okay um, so coming to the next cabinet gave its nod to mission karma yogi it's a national program for which of the following see mission karma yogi it is for civil servants okay it is for civil servants so cabinet gave its nod to mission karma yogi national program for skill development of civil servants so you can go through this news uh, okay and who among the following has been appointed as the new chairman of the national school of drama and sd can you say that paresh rawal paresh rawal answer b is exactly correct okay 
So Paresh Rawal, the President of India, Ramnath Kovind, has appointed veteran actor Paresh Rawal as the new chairman of the National School of Drama. Okay, this is for you. You can give this, or uh, uh, which is the option? Okay, in September 2020, which of the following countries has launched and recovered its first ever experimental re reusable mm -hmm. spacecraft? Okay, which of the following countries has launched and recovered its first ever experimental uh, reusable spacecraft? Can you say that? It China. is China. China, friends. Okay, go with this. China, China, China. Okay. Fully launched and recovered an experimental reusable. Okay, we can use uh, we can use reuse, reuse, use. Okay, uh, it's an important step in the country's space program. If we can also go through this, it's very easy, right? It is best best way, right? So in September 2020, which of the following banks has been recognized as the world's best bank by the New York based financial publication Global Finance? Do you know this? As you know this, just just write on there. Yes, you are saying correct. It is TBS Bank. The best, world's best bank. Oh, it's world's best bank. So you might be thinking that maybe I also take, I should take an uh, uh, account in this. Okay, it's your wish. Okay. By the New York based financial publication, Global Finance, they had said that DBS Bank is the best bank. In September 2020, which of the following companies has joined hand with IT industrial body NASCOM Future Skills to launch a national wide AI scaling initiative? So it is Microsoft. Microsoft. So Microsoft had uh, launched a national wide artificial intelligence scaling initiative. Okay, friends, very important. Who are writing? Steel Plan MD, Microsoft is the uh, body. That's home, okay? You need to just remember this. Jo uh, Microsoft has joined with IT industry body. That's home, okay? A uh, few skills to launch a national wide AI. Okay, in September 2020, India's largest bakery mission worth 209 crores was launched in which of the following states? He is asked which of the following states? It is Meghalaya. Meghalaya, friends. So, Meghalaya, India's largest piggery mission, worth 200 crores, was launched at the end of Meghalaya. Okay. Uh, was, uh, it, it is worth 209 crores and was launched by the Union Ministry of State for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Okay. His name is Chaudhary. Okay, uh, in September 2020, which of the following states has launched the Gandagi Bharat Chodo campaign? Can you say which is, which of, which is there? It is Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh. Yes, Madhya Pradesh had uh, uh, the campaign of this. Okay, so what is this in Madhya Pradesh? A massive Bharat Chodo campaign was launched by the state government. Okay, next, this is one of the important bit to uh, uh, understand. When is National Doctors' Day? 1st July. In India, okay, it is 1st July, friends. 1st July, National Doctors' Day was observed. Every year, okay, uh, to recognize the contributions of physicians to individual lives and communities. Okay, so... Uh, he because of this person we got that uh, Vidhan Chandra Roy. Vidhan Chandra Roy, we got this uh, national Dr. Vidhan Chandra Roy. Okay, Vidhan Chandra Roy. In June 2020, who among the following has been appointed as the Attorney General for India? For one reference, see this AG, and we also had LG. And we also, LG is Lieutenant Governor and AG is Attorney General for India. So he is the one uh, who, you know, he will be like a, a judge or a liar or for India. He represents India, okay, in the international matters. So he is none other than that. KK. Gopal. Gopal. Okay, it's for one year. So, when it, okay, for also for June 2021, he will be the person. So just remember this guy. Okay, when Gopal on June 29th, they had uh, set him as AG of India for a period of one year. And uh, this is which of the following states has signed agreements with the central government and the World Bank to help low income groups in the state 
uh, get access to affordable housing. See, they are saying that agreements with central government and World Bank, both. Okay, uh, so it is Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu uh, took the decision uh, for affordable housing to help low-income people groups. Okay, uh, so the central uh, we just see this in June 2020. Which of the following states has launched the Amara Gar Amara Vidyalaya? Okay, Hamara Ghar, Hamara Vidyalaya campaign. Mm. Madhya Pradesh. See, Madhya Pradesh. You can also just eliminate that Hamara Ghar, Hamara Vidyalaya is Tarangana is Telugu state, so we don't won't be keeping Tamil Nadu. Never. Uh, Orissa maybe, Maharashtra maybe, Madhya Pradesh maybe. But Hamara Ghar, Hamara Vidyalaya. It is Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Uh, it is uh, which means my home, my school scheme. Okay. It is a very important scheme by Madhya Pradesh. We can also see that. My, M O, and then M O, and then M O. M O, M O, M O. There is a relationship. Okay. June 2020, which of the following campaigns has acquired 51% equity stake in T P Central Odisha Distribution Limited for rupees 187.5 crore. 51%. Okay. The Tata Power Coal. Uh, okay. Corporation Limited. Mm -hmm. Okay, which of the following companies has acquired 51% st stake? Tata Power Corporation Limited. Exactly, friends. Okay, uh, so we need to just go with this. The Central Odisha Distribution Limited. Okay, this is the Tata Power. Now, uh, which of the following has launched a 25 day Kalo India Community Coach Development Program for 15,000 teachers and community coaches across? India. So uh, it is Ministry of Youth, Affairs and Sports. This is education teachers and community coaches are given by Ministry of Youth, Affairs and Sports. Okay, it's very important to uh, go through this. Now, the government of India has launched a plan of how many rupees? See, how many rupees in crores? Okay, friends, in crore to boost. Electronics manufacturing in the country. The government of India has arranged to plan how many rupees? It is 50,000 crores to boost electronics. Okay. Which of the following ministries have launched a new initiative to conduct skill mapping of citizens threatening under Vande Bharat Mission? To conduct skill mapping of citizens written under one day Bharat mission is that Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Civil Aviation Ministry, Central Affairs Ministry, External Affairs Ministry. Okay, this uh, we will come under these three things. So just go three three this three three things very important friends. Day Bharat. So let's start. When is the International Day of Parliamentary Assembly? Seventh October 2021. Thirtieth June, right? So, what is meant by the International uh, Day of Parliamentarism? So, it is celebrated on thirtieth uh, June, as we already highlighted it. So, it is the the main thing. The role is the worldwide in the indispensable cornerstones of democracy. So, Shri Durga Shankar Mishra, Secretary Housing of Urban uh, Affairs, launched this uh, in the uh, by the Pradhan Mantri Aath Nirbhar. Okay, so let us go ahead. So, as you can see, next thing is about the in September 2020, Uttar Pradesh government has decided to set up exclusive and anti anti city theft police stations in how many districts of state? Okay, so electricity theft police station. So, it is around 75. It was set up by Uttar Pradesh. So, that is the next thing that we want to see. So, we can that in Uttar Pradesh government has decided to put anti electricity theft police. Okay, it is called AETP. So these are in among 75 districts of the state. So going ahead, we're gonna see that in September 2020, what are the following countries which has become the world first to use the issue of sovereign bond linked to the sustainable development goals set by the United Nations. So United Nations had set up few sustainable goals. Okay, few sustainable goals, development goals. 
So which are the countries that had acquired it? It is Mexico. Mexico. Let's go ahead. So what? Uh, the in Mexico, so it's the first country to issue a sovereign bond liquid between the sustainable development goals set up by the United Nations organization. So, next going ahead in September 2020, which among the following has named the United Nations to 2020 core top young leaders of the sustainable development goals? Okay, what is the what, who had uh, uh, named it? Uddit Singhal. Uddit Singhal. So he is a young guy. We can see him right now. So uh, under the right. He is 18 years young. young yeah, he is just 18 years young guy. So he is from India and he has been named by the uh, United Nations. So as the current topic, young leaders for the sustainable development goals, which is also called as the SDG. That's good. So this uh, this guy's name is Udit Singhal. Out. So as going ahead, we can see that September 2020, the government has permitted the FDI, Foreign Development Direct Investment, up to how much percent automatic route in the defense sector? In defense sector, uh, how much had uh, our government invested? It's like uh, before we need, we should not uh, get through everyone, but right now we can get over it. It's like 74 percent. Yes, it's it is. 74 percent right so what happened is that in the FDI of the of the uh, is around 74 percent days so you can see that the government has permitted foreign development index up to 70 percent under the automatic route for the defense sector so as we're going ahead we can see that in August 2020 though uh, which of the following countries have begun discussion on the launching a supply chain resilience inst in initiative which is called as sub supply chain resilience initiative to reduce dependency of india which country is that it is it is three countries india japan and australia so it is a joint collaboration of the three countries so which has begun discussions on the launching of Trilateral supply chain resilience initiative. So to suppress the uses of China's goods, uh, apports it in about the imports and all this. Yes, yes, yes. As you said, it's to dependency to reduce dependency also. In August 2020, we can see that the following partner with the Sy Serbian Serbian volleyball club Radniki Pil. Great to discover volleyball talents across Kerala. So you know that Kerala is a good place where there are many good volleyball players, right? So it is Blaster Sports Venture Private Limited. Limited. So try to remember this. So it is Blaster Sport Blasters Sports Venture Private Limited, uh, the pa parent company of Kerala KB KBFC, which is called Kerala Blasters Food Cup. Announces venture into volleyball with the Radniki Blasters. So you can see the uh, Kerala Blasters and the, the official name. So what is the next thing is which of the following states has launched the first marine ambulance named Pratiksha. They, they are asking much on this so try to remember this Pratiksha. So, you might be writing that. Yeah you need to write that. So it is Kerala. So it is then as the name indicates, it's Pratiksha mostly used in Kerala, right? So it is where it is used. So you can see it in the here. So this is called uh, the ambulance. Ambulance. So you can see there is Pratiksha right written in Kerala. If you know uh, Malayalam, you can read it down. So uh, if not, you can let it learn and read it. Okay. So the who is the chief minister for Kerala? Vijayan. So he is Vijayan. Penaraya Vijayan. Okay. He had uh, inaugurated it. He inaugurated the first uh, launch of the ambulance. So in Jomin Kashmir, which of the following districts has launched Irad the campaign to cover leftover beneficiaries under a social welfare scheme. So it is it's gonna be Doda. Doda. So so in Doda. In Jammu and Kashmir, Doda District Deputy Commissioner, who is the Deputy Commissioner of the uh, Jammu and Kashmir, he is Dr. D. Taipodi. Taipodi. So he launched this uh, Irada campaign with the view to cover the eligible left out beneficiaries under various social 
welfare scheme. So the uh, lactose uh, beneficiaries can be uh, beneficiated by the Doda Do Do40. He is the person, and Doda is a scheme. Yes, Doda scheme. Yes. Next thing, then we can see is Hagia Sophia Museum, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is located in which country? So this Hagia Sophia Museum is in which country? It's you know that Turkey. it is in. Actually, that's in a uh, church. Yeah, this is. So it. the church was carried in the museum. It's like an uh, mosque and a museum. And then to museum, so you can see it, right? So it is here, UNESCO World Heritage Center into mosque. Okay, next thing we can go and see this rank of India. Sorry. So, rank of India in sustainable development. So, we have seen the sustainable, sustainable development, development growth, report. right? So, in this growth, what is the India's rank? It is 117. The rank of India is 117. So, try to remember it. It is 117. Alright. So, the sustainable development report 2020 uh, says the sustainable development goals and COVID-19. So, it includes SDG index and dashboards. So, uh, as you going ahead, we can see about the uh, who am I following has e launch mission organic development initiative. So it is called also called as MODI, which is mission organic development initiative. So and a greenhouse greenhouse project in Ladakh. Okay, it was uh, done by R K Mathur. Mathur. So R K Mathur has uh, opened uh, this uh, Modi, okay, which is Modi is also called as Mission Organic Development Initiative. So, I uh, is a lieutenant governor. Yeah, he's actually a lieutenant governor. He launched Mission Organic Development Initiative. So, as we're going ahead, uh, in July 2020, who has written the book? Very important, the books, this is mostly given because it is a current affair. Overdraft. We are going to uh, have an other video on books also. Stay tuned. If you want a live video, just comment as if we will be doing a live video. Yes. Saving the India, Indian Saver. So, saving the Indian Saver, who had written this book? He is a former RBA governor, Urjit Patel. So, Urjit Patel, right? He is a good governor, right? So, uh, Raghuram Rajan and Urjit Patel, they are really good uh, governors, right? So, they had done RBA governors. RBI yes. governors. Uh, yes. So, they are, he wrote the book. Uh, Titling Overdraft Saving the India. Saver. Uh, so in August uh, 2020, which of the following banks has announced a so which of the following banks has announced a strategic partnership with Adobe to enhance the digital experience journey of its customers? So which of the following banks has made it? So we know that Adobe, you know, Adobe chairman has ranked the best eighth in Forbes magazine. Okay, so Adobe uh, had been uh, enhanced with the digital with the HDFC FC bank. bank. So HDFC bank. So as you gonna see that the HDFC bank has announced a strategic partnership with Adobe to enhance the digital experience journey of its customers. So when is the National Sports Day celebrated in India? Uh, it is on 29th August. It is uh, because of this major Dayanshan birthday that we will be celebrating uh, National Sports Day. Okay, he's a legend in hockey. And coming to this in August 2020, uh, who among the following has won the title World's Fastest Human Calculator after winning first ever gold for India in Mental Calculation World Championship? Uh, Hope you know this guy. This guy is uh, made a greater impact. He is uh, born Prakash. Okay. Uh, he is born Prakash. Uh, he is uh, from I I uh, Delhi, um, St. John's. Okay. So he had been he, he just 21 years old and he has been the fastest human calculator. You can uh, see his videos in YouTube. And coming to this next thing, it is. Uh, which of the following countries has become the first country in Africa to end human African uh, sleeping sickness as a public health problem? Uh, so it is 
Togo. Okay, Togo. Uh, the World Health Organization WHO announced last week that Togo has become the first country in Africa to end human African uh, uh, sleeping sickness as a public health problem. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so in August 2020, which of the following states has decided to set up India's first toy manufacturing cluster? So coming to this, we will be calling it as GIFT. Uh, GIFT is nothing but Gujarat International Financial Text City. Okay. So it is uh, for which we will be calling it as calling it as an important thing. Okay, so what uh, here is the uh, August uh, uh, decided to set up the first toy manufacturing cluster where toys will be made. It is in Karnataka. Okay, Karnataka, it is the first cluster. I'm going to the next. It is, it is because of this, uh, the, the Karnataka chief minister he is uh, BS Vedurappa and has announced to set up India's first toy manufacturing cluster, Kopal. Okay. And uh, next, we are going to see that in August 2020, which of the following companies has become the first Indian dairy firm to make a place of the global top 20 list released by Rabo, Rabo Bank. So Rabo Bank, <clears throat> it is uh, a development financial development bank uh, where they will be giving loans. So uh, they said that first Indian dairy firm. Okay, so you can see everything, and yes, it is Amul. Amul had been started uh, in 1946, and there is in the white, the father of white revolutionist Korean had been a um, worker in this company. Uh, he had also worked with Amul. Uh, so yes, Amul had made a great impact, right? Uh, Amul Gujarat Corporation Milk Marketing Federation has become the first Indian dairy milk dairy firm to make a place in the global list top uh, 20 list. Okay. By Rebo Bank. And going to the next, it is in August 2020, which of the following countries have joined hand with India to enhance conversions of river dolphins in the region. So, to uh, help the dolphins, uh, there are different things, and uh, the Nepal, Bangladesh, and Myanmar had taken initiative to help this. Uh, so, these four countries, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, have joined hands to enhance conversion uh, conservation of dolphins and coming to this it is in august 2020 which of the following companies have been named a global supplier of the year by aerospace major boeing so boeing had been a very uh, major thing in uh, making of the airplanes or uh, anything uh, so okay so they uh, so what can we Say the answer is that it is Rosal Texas. Okay, so Rosal Texas division of Rosal Indian Limited has been named a global supplier of the year by Aerospace uh, Space Major Boeing. And coming to the next, which of the following states has stopped the Niti Aayog's export? Okay, so he asked export. See this export and import export preparedness index 2020. Uh, it is yes, it is Gujarat. So, Gujarat has stopped the Niti Aayog's Export Preparedness Index 2020 followed by Maharashtra and then Tamil Nadu. First is Gujarat and then Maharashtra and then Tamil Nadu. Okay, it's first, second and third. And uh, going to the next, it is uh, in October 2020, which of the following has sanctioned a sum of 3 crores to develop India's first and Dune Park in Goa. See, this Dune Park. Okay. Uh, it is one of the important uh, things to learn that Dune Park, it is World Bank, okay? So, it is World Bank. So, before going to that, we need to uh, know about this World Bank. So, World Bank is one of the major things that we need to learn. Uh, so, what is, uh, who is its head and uh, what is its headquarters and when did it started? Okay. Before the World Bank is used, used to be called as IBRD, which is known as International Bank for Reconstructing and Development. Okay, so uh, after that it, it had been named as World Bank. So the head is David 
and its headquarters uh, is in Washington DC and it had been started in the year 1944 okay World Bank had been started in 1944 it is used to be called IBRD which is International Bank for Reconstructing and Development okay uh, yeah so India's first sand duke park is set up developed in Goa and going to the next in October 2020, High Court of which state began the live streaming of proceedings? The court uh, had been live streaming through YouTube. So, can you name that uh, uh, court? It is, yeah, again, Gujarat. It is Gujarat. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Yeah. So, Gujarat. The Gujarat High Court began to live stream. And which of the following countries have been ranked top for mobile data? Speed in the speedest global index by Okla for September 2020. Okay, so coming to this, uh, what do you think? What is the answer may be? Yes, it is South Korea. South Korea topped the speed test of the internet mobile data speed. So India, yeah, India's rank is 131. But broadcasting, it is uh, it is mobile data India 131 and in Broadcast, okay. Broadband, process broadband. Uh, it is somewhere around uh, 70. India is in 70, and Singapore tops. Okay, Singapore tops the broadband. Okay, uh, going to the next. So, okay, O class global index. South Korea rank number one with an average mobile data speed of 121 map, uh, Mbps. Okay, in October 2020, which of the following? Uh, companies has announced a distribution agreement with Harley Davidson for the Indian market. We know that Harley Davidson had left India, uh, but uh, for that uh, servicing and every other, other stuff, uh, what it had taken is that it had to Hero Motor, Motor Corporation. Okay, he took Hero Motor Corporation uh, distribution agreement with Harley Davidson for the Indian market. Okay, you can see in this image. And um, coming to this, in uh, which airport has become the first airport in India to enable e broadbanding for international flights? It is Hyderabad Airport. Okay, it is Hyderabad Airport. And also for Hyderabad Airport, I want to say you that uh, which is the first Indian airport with solar. Okay, yeah, it's solar. We can uh, say that it is uh, the Hyderabad Airport. Okay, and going to the next in August 2020, which of the following countries is the last African country, last African country to be declared free from wild polio. Okay, we know that uh, the last right now the polio for the last two are Pakistan and Afghanistan, but in the African continent, uh, I mean, you, uh, there is a greater thing that you can say it is, yeah, it is. Nigeria, okay. Nigeria is the last African country to be declared free from wild polio, uh, having accounted for more than half of the global cases less than a decade ago. Okay, when National Olympic Day celebrated every year, uh, you need to say this. When is uh, uh, when is this? Okay, it is 23rd June, exactly 23rd June. So we need to know something about this that international day is celebrated on 23rd june and it is uh, started at the rate of 1894 okay in the year 1894 23rd june it had been started and uh, who among the following has written the book legend of Childev, the king who saved india it is one of the uh, uh, important book that uh, Amish Tripathi wrote it, okay? So, Amish Tripathi announced the launch of his new fiction book, Legend of Suldev, the king who saved India, okay? Legend of Suldev, the king who saved India is written by Amish Tripathi. And going to the next, it is uh, in June 2020, which of the following has received a patent for its liquid cooling and heating garment? We will call as LCHG. That is suitable for space applications. Uh, it is by ISRO. ISRO is, we know that it is Indians. Okay. And NASA is USA. And we can see very easy JAXA, JAXA is Japan. And 
we and C are right, so it is Russia. And C is China. We just remember this also, and uh, it is made by ISRO for its uh, liquid cooling and heating garment that is suitable for space applications. Okay. In 2020, which are the following state government and uh, announced to launch Indra Raso Yojana. So Indra Raso Yojana had been launched by Rajasthan. Okay. So Rajasthan uh, Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot uh, announced that his government will soon launch the Indra Rasoi Rojana. Okay, uh, Rajasthan government is Congress government. Uh, it is had uh, launched Indra Rasoi Yojana for the poor to ensure that no one sleeps hungry in the states. No one, no one should sleep hungry. Okay, that's the major objective. Okay, coming to this uh, in uh, August 2020, which is in the lockdown uh, period. Uh, uh, a Minister of Finance, to, okay, data provided by the Minister of Finance to Raj Sabha, which stayed top the list of Pradhan Mandri Mudra Yojana in availing the loan by women. So we know that Mudra loans, okay, Mu D Mudra loans. So can you define what is Mudra loan? Yes, Mudra is micro unit development and refinance agency micro unit development and refinance agency is this is called as mudra so mudra is one of the important thing that we need to uh, understand and in mudra there are three things one is sishu okay and other is kishore and then other is tarun uh, uh, sishu is somewhere around uh, uh, up to 50000 and kishore is up to 5 lakhs 50000 to 5 lakhs and tarun is uh, 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs. Okay, these are the three that the Indian government has given uh, for us, and then Tamil Nadu uh, stays the top in taking that loans. Okay, Tamil Nadu woman had taken that uh, and has topped the list of PM MY. Okay, Pradhan Mandri Mudra Yojana. Okay, again, I'm saying Mudra is micro unit development and refinance agency. Okay, in uh, August 2020, which of the following airports has won the Confederation of Indian Industry, that is called CII, Godrej Green uh, Business Center, GBC, uh, National Energy Leader and Excellent Energy Efficient Unit Award. Uh, so, it had been won by, okay, you can just comment, yes, it had been won by Hyderabad Airport. Okay, Hyderabad Airport has won Confederation of Indian industry uh, it's a very important thing to learn because uh, uh, in the first a the a uh, airport authority of india uh, also had his first solar airport at the rate of hyderabad airport only okay uh, going to the next the Prime Minister narendra modi announced that which of the following months will be observed as nutrition month okay nutrition month uh, which of the uh, following okay this is also called to be as portion to men and chain it is at the rate of september okay it's a on august 30th uh, 2020 during his monthly monkey bath radio program prime minister narendra Modi and that september will be observed as nutrition month okay very important uh which is the following companies has launched a portable ventilator spicy ox for patients with breathing issues Okay, come on. Spice, spicy oxy. See, spice. So we can go with spice jet. Exactly. So spice jets have launched spicy oxy compact portable uh, <clears throat> non. Uh, okay, uh, to just to moderate breathing issues. Okay, uh, it's a very important thing that we need to learn. And uh, coming to this next thing, uh, in August 2020, who among the following has become uh, the first woman of Indian origin to be honored with the blue plague uh, in the UK. Okay, blue plague coming to this blue plague. Uh, it is uh, something like in the World War II, what happened is that uh, they spent some spice, and the first woman from Indian origin uh, is to be Noor Khan. Okay, Noor Khan. She is uh, a world. Uh, she, uh, she's the one a uh, world war to spy and descendant of ruler Tipu Sultan became the first Indian origin woman to be honored with blue flag in the UK. She had been the spy, okay, 
the next going to the next uh, it is uh, in August 2020, renowned scientist G. Satish Reddy was given an extension of how many years as the chairman of DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization. Uh, he has been given two years and then again he was given again two years. Okay, uh, he is one of the best scientists uh, uh, and also under his leadership there is a great development. You can see his picture over here. August 2020, the Uttar Pradesh government signed an MOU with which of the following countries in improving water management uh, in the Bandar Khan region of the state. So it is through Israel. Okay. Yeah. It is through Israel. The Turkish government signed an MOU with Israel for improving water management. And uh, we also know that India, uh, Israel has been a good uh, Participate in India. Okay, in August 2020, which of the following banks has announced the acquisition of the furthest track in India International Exchange located in Gift City in Gandhinagar? We know that Gift uh, is uh, what I said to you before uh, that Gujarat International Financial Text City. It is one of the important thing that we need should, we should remember. Uh, so which bank has announced the uh, has announced is that uh, it is ICIC Bank. Okay. Private uh, sector leader ICIC Bank announced the acquisition of a further stake in India International Exchange located uh, city in Gandhinagar. Uh, coming to the next, it's uh, in uh, August 2020, which of the following companies has partnered, partnered, uh, part, uh, okay, uh, partnered with uh, Nepal's leading e-commerce firm Sesto Deal to enable cross-border trade. Uh, to enable cross-border trade, it is uh, Flipkart. Yeah, Flipkart uh, entered into a uh, strategic partnership with the Sesto Deal. It's in um, Nepal, uh, leading e-commerce company in Nepal. Uh, okay, so. Going to the next, in uh, August 2020, who among the following has launched Harith Path, a mobile app to monitor plantations through geotagging and web based GIS enabled monitoring tools? The Union Minister Nitin Gadkari, okay, he had launched Harith Path, a mobile app to monitor plantations through geotagging. Uh, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari launched Harith Path, a mobile app to monitor plantations through geotagging and web based GIS enabled monitoring tools. Okay, coming to the next, uh, it is uh, in August 2020, which of the following institutions has been selected for Rastriya Kale Prostate uh, Praskar for 2020? Uh, okay, so it is one of the important. Uh, selection that is taken under the category of identification and nurturing of budding and uh, young talent uh, it is the army institute in army sports institute okay uh, it is uh, located in pune uh, okay so under this uh, they had taken as i said you before okay uh, coming to the next it is in august 2020 which of the following companies has decided to buy 74 percent stack in mumbai international airport for nearly 15000 crores uh, for 15000 crores it is adani group okay adani group uh, has been taking uh, it 74 percent before we go, uh, used to have this uh, the gmr group but adani is going to take uh, this thing Okay, and coming to the next, the government is set to hire which of the following as advisors to help life insurance corporations of India. So LIC uh, for, to prepare for initial public offering. So initial public offering is IPO is that whenever a new like uh, suppose if uh, there is a company if he or uh, the, if the company is going to go into shares, okay, uh, they need to have some uh, some thing called as advisors so uh, they can take any advisors because as they are new so the lic also need to have some advisors so government uh, is set to hire deloitte uh douche uh, india limited and then sba capital markets limited for the lic okay they are taking these two one and two uh, as options there's uh, both things 
the Deloitte and the SBA. Okay, so they are taking this both help and going for the initial public offering. And coming to the next, in August 2020, who among the following have been induced into the ICC uh, Cricket Hall of Fame by the International Cricket Council? Uh, so International Cricket Council, the Cricket Hall of Fame is one of the very important thing in India. There are six people who had been uh, uh, given this thing and they are uh, we are really blessed by that and the the major people are like uh, uh, Bish Singh and then uh, Kapil Dev and then Rahul Dravid and then Su uh, Sunil Gavagaskar uh, and then uh, Sachin Chandilkar and also Anil Kumble. So these are the six uh, Indians uh, 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 for the, who had been into this uh, Cricket Hall of Frame and Right now, uh, they are uh, these people, Jacqueline and then Lisa and the, uh, Lisa and then Abbas. These three also had been added, so these three will be the answer too. Okay. Uh, coming to this uh, this thing in August 2020, Bangladesh has designed a new plan to relocate tens of thousands of Rohingya refuses from crowded mainland camps to which of the following island of Bay of Bengal? Okay, so this is the Bay of Bengal. There is an uh, island which had been set apart for Muslims uh, who had been refuses. Uh, okay, uh, refuses to let them relocate into this island. Uh, so what is that island? Can you name that? Uh, it is yeah. It is Bahsanchar. Bahsanchar. Okay, in this island they had uh, let them. Uh, go of the past and help them of our uh, uh, have a new plan to relocate tens of thousands of Rohingya refugees from mainland camps okay now coming to this uh, another question uh, it is uh, really good that you had been up till here uh, just let's go just we need to hear okay because you're going to get the job uh, in August 2020 who among the following has become the first Indian to play in a Caribbean Premium League. So in India, we'll be having IPL in the same way we had Caribbean Premier League. Uh, so it is uh, it is Praveen Tambe who had been the first player to play over here. Okay, uh, spinner Praveen Tambe on 26 August became the first Indian to play in the Caribbean Premium League. Come uh, to this. Uh, in August 2020, who among the following has become the youngest or the ever, uh, ever to win the International Booker Prize? So, International Booker Prize is one of the uh, best prize for the for the for the uh, uh, for the others. So, who is the youngest? Okay, so youngest is Lucas. Okay, you can just remember that M L J M L R M L R. So you can uh, say that it is Lucas. So coming to this Lucas, he is a 29 years old uh, Dutch author. Okay, he is a Dutch author. Uh, and then Lucas has become the youngest author ever to uh, win the International Booker Prize. Uh, here in uh, this uh, in this great book that is called The Discomfort of Evening. Uh, you need to read that, okay, if you have time. And coming to this uh, thing, uh, in August 2020, the Civil Aviation Ministry has approved how many new routes under the fourth round of regional concrete scheme, which is called as RCS, Udesh Ka Am Greek. Okay, Udan scheme. You know Udan scheme, right? So, how many routes uh, under the fourth round? So, it is 78, which is option D. Okay, government has approved 78 new routes under fourth round of regional connectivity scheme okay under udan to further enhance the connectivity to remote and re, uh, regional areas of the country so which of the following has signed a pact with csc e governance services india to facilitate a uh, delivery of man app services through common service centers through common service centers uh, so before going to that what is umang it is Umang. So Umang is that unified mobile 
application for new age governance again i'm saying unified mobile application for new age governance they might be asking you oh what is umang and then they might be giving you different different tweets but you need to write unified mobile application for new age governance okay uh, so the answer will be national e governance division okay the national e governance division signed a pact with c s c e governance services india to facilitate delivery of umang app services through common service centers coming to the next in i strongly in which of the following companies launched its pet insurance product that covers pet dogs from age 3 months to 10 years they are giving an insurance for dogs also okay it is yes bajaj alliant general insurance okay but uh, is giving an uh, insurance for uh, dogs if you have any dogs just you give some insurance for that through this bajaj okay coming to this in october 2020 which of the following indian organization has won a prestigious un global climate action award for efforts to fight climate change amid covid 19 even in covid 19 we had uh, uh, been good okay so it is global himalayan expedition expedition okay uh, so the global ghe has won a prestigious un global climate action award for its efforts in to combat climate change amid the covid 19 pandemic okay uh, going to the next uh, it is uh, in october 2020 which of the following companies has entered a like they took a 3500 crore foreign currency loan agreement with japan bank for international cooperation which is uh, gb gbic gbic nunchi loan teesukunaru so which is that company o oh, company count hai o oh, company ntpc hai adi ntpc okay na okay ntpc has entered to take the loan okay going to the next it is uh, in october 2020 which of the following companies has collaborated with the national skill development cooperation to launch a digital literacy program for women over the next 10 months uh, it is microsoft microsoft had an taken this initiative to help the people who had been in this adversary effect okay microsoft has collaborated with the national skill development uh, cooperation okay uh, going to the next like in october 2020 which of the following has sanctioned loans worth 8500 lakh under rural infrastructure development fund which is ridf to the government of goa for various social in infrastructure projects in the state uh, which uh, had given the loan so we know that it is uh, nabard nabard okay uh, nabard has sanctioned loans worth 8500 504 lack under rural uh, it is R, R, under rdf to the government of goa okay, you can see the uh, symbol over here just remember that and going uh, in october 2020 which of the following states our unit territories have approved more than 40 crore to provide medical insurance of 5 lakh and term insurance of 10 lakh to lawyers very important medical insurance of 5 lakhs and term insurance of 10 lakhs only to lawyers it is none other than that kesarwal arvind kesarwal government is delhi yes delhi arvind kesarwal led delhi government approved more than 40 crore to provide medical insurance and 5 lakh and term insurance of 10 lakh to lawyers who are residents of the national capital only in november 2020 which of the following states has passed a bill which provides the right to recall members of panchayat raj institutions to those who elected them uh, so coming to this uh, it is uh, haryana okay uh, haryana has passed a bill which provides the right to recall members of panchayat raj institution to those who, who had elected them um, okay and uh, coming to this in november 2020 who among the following has become only the fourth player to an 1000 open era single So victory is good. Uh, so in November 2020, who among the following has become only the fourth player to earn thousand Open Era single victories? So we know that it's gonna be Rafael Nadal. Okay, Rafael Nadal. So how it's gonna be? So the Spanish tennis star Rafael Nadal became the only fourth player to earn 
thousand open era single victories. So he's uh, he's he even put up in that. So there are a few other things. Uh, so these guys are uh, Roger Federer and Novak, Andy Murray, and Dominic Thiem. So he's the least, and this is the fourth one. Okay. So uh, recently, uh, Roger Federer is news because of the uh, Diwali celebrations uh, he had tweeted. So in November 2020, who among the following has launched the Nutrition Neighborhoods? Okay, Nutrition Nutrating Neighborhood Challenge, uh, which we call as NNC. Okay, so for cities to develop and implement initiatives to improve the quality of life of young adults. Uh, caregivers and families. So who is that? It is Hardeep Singh pa Puri. Okay, who is Hardeep Singh Puri? So Hardeep Singh Puri Puri is the Union Minister uh, who launched the Nutrition Nurturing uh, Neighboring Hoods Challenge for uh, cities to develop the implement the initiatives. So the main thing is there is uh, young adults. And there are other also caregivers and families. So these are the three categories that have been uh, selected in this uh, process. The union minister uh, is Hardeep Singh Puri. The next thing is we're going to see over here is uh, which of the following banks has launched India's first comprehensive banking program, Mine for million millennials. Okay, Mine for millennials was given by ICICI Bank. Okay, ICICI Bank uh, had got it called Mine for Millions. So Mine, the main thing Mine for Millions, you can see it over here. And coming to next is it's gonna be in October 2020, 2020 which is falling state government has announced to build temporary shelter for migrant birds. So what happened is that in the famous lake, uh, Samba Lake, there is this, uh, this is a very uh, drastic thing happens there because of water a uh, few of the birds migratory birds were being killed okay so uh, in the samba lake is in rajasthan all right so in rajasthan our government of india has established few temporary shelters for migratory birds so that they, they will not be killed they will not be exposed to fatal injuries so these are these are these are the call these are the so called uh, so famous migratory lakes, migratory birds. Okay. So going ahead in uh, October 2020, a film museum. Okay. Pahadi Sangara Leia. Okay. Has been set up in which of the following district of Uttarakhand. So film museum, uh, which is also called to be uh, Ch Chamoli. Okay. It was set up in Chamoli. So what happened is that uh, there is uh, something called like this Chamoli. In Chamoli, uh, you can see over here, uh, they have set up this at uh, Gompeshwar headquarters at the Uttarakhand. Okay. So in October 2020, All Institute of Ayurveda, which is also called as All Indian Institute of AIIA. Okay. So it has, uh, New Delhi has signed uh, a memorandum of understanding. So they had signed a MOU with which the following the Ayurveda uh, react, uh, research. So AIIA, All Institute of Ayurveda, has signed it with AU, which is called uh, Amiti University. Okay, Amiti University Authority, uh, they, uh, they put a link up, so MOU, which is called Memorandum Understanding. So mainly the Ayurveda, we can see it over here, uh, it is situated uh, with the MOU with Amiti University. And going ahead, we can see that the Louis Gluck has been named the winner of the 2020 Nobel Prize in Literature. Okay, this is very important. Think important. Uh, so he is or she is from which country? So she is. You can know that she is from USA. Okay, Louis Gluck. Okay, Louis Gluck uh, has been named the winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature. Please remember because right, uh, she is just uh, been uh, taken in October 2020. So it's very important. She, her name is. Louis Gluck and then going ahead it's going to be uh, October 2020 to the following uh, states have uh, launched this Tova this Tova an online channel for holistic teaching and visual orientation for higher education 
So for holistic teaching and mutual orientation for uh, higher orientation, it was been uh, taken into uh, initiative by Goa government. Okay, we know that uh, it is uh, Goa Chief Minister as Pramod Savan. Pramod Savan. Okay, he's, it's very important that you need to remember. Pramod Savan. Okay, launched uh, this uh, very important uh, initiative called this Tova, an online channel for positive teaching and mutual uh, orientation for higher education. And then uh, there goes uh, in November 2020, you can see the news that in the Asian uh, Development Bank approved a USD of uh, 132.8 million loan to improve and upgrade the low uh, the power distribution network in each of the following states. So, Asian Development Bank has given this to which of the following states for the power distribution network which is called as uh, PDW PDM power distribution PDM okay so it was given to Meghalaya okay it was given to Meghalaya it's very important to know uh, notice that uh, that Meghalaya was been approved for this uh, thing and now we know which of the following countries has signed a deal with the Serum Institute of India to buy 30 million doses of potential coronavirus vaccines so it's very important um, because serum uh, institute of india okay uh, right now it is in news i uh, just yesterday in uh, ndtv uh, they said that uh, the serum institute of uh, india had given a dosage of potential coronavirus and it is not working so uh, the government of india said that it is a fake news so even, even it, it could be asked so it is here 30 million doses of um, potential to Bangladesh okay it was given to Bangladesh uh, so Bangladesh was been given uh, with the wonderful drug uh, of the 30 million doses to Bangladesh uh, which is drug maker is uh, AstraZeneca and coming to next though in November 2020 the trailblazers clinged their made in women's 20 t20 challenge by beating the supernovas by 16 runs who among the following is the captain of trailblazers so who is the captain of trailblazers so it is smriti mandana smriti mandana okay smriti mandana. We, we, need to, we need to remember that that's smriti mandana who is a uh, one the made in uh, women's t20 challenge title with uh, supernovas in and coming in, in number 2020 is about a word which of the following words are declared as a word of the year. So, word of the year, we all know that there are a few things that you can see over here social distancing, lockdown, coronavirus, and like exit TikToker. So, it's going to be lockdown. Lockdown. See, we all been using lockdown most of the time, right? So, it's the lockdown is the word of the year. And a six year old boy from which of the following cities has entered Guinness World Record as the youngest. World's youngest computer programming. So he is from uh, Ahmedabad. Okay, he is from Ahmedabad. You can see this guy on the right side of the screen. So if you see him, right. So he's just a uh, uh, six old room. old boy. He's from okay. Ahmedabad. Uh, so he's a young, world's youngest computer programmer. Okay, so you need to remember that. So his uh, his name is Arham Om Talsania. Okay. Next, going ahead, you can see about which the following states and industries have decided to declare all the actions taken under the Roshni Act as null and void. Okay, null and void. It's gonna be Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir has taken the uh, uh, completely different um, administration uh, declared actions under the Jammu and Kashmir state land, missing the ownership of the occupants. So it's gonna be Act uh, 2001. Uh, so they took as null and void. And going ahead in November 2020, which the following companies has announced to invest around 20,000 crores in Telangana for data centers. So, for data centers, so there is data center which is called, so called to be uh, different so, sort of things that have been helping in the IT market, IT sites, and all this. It is Amazon. Okay, Amazon has been uh, a wide investor in the data sets in Telangana. So it announced around 2.7 billion in the state. And going ahead in September 2020, uh, National Institute of Solar Energy (NICSC) NIC, uh, and Gurugram 
has signed an MOU, this memorandum of understanding, with Richard Falling Institute of the Strategic Association to bolster the solar energy sector. So, solar energy sector is now within the uh, great span. So, it was being given with the Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute, Durgapur. Okay, Central Mechanical Research Institute. Durgapur. You need to remember this. So there, it is widely used because solar energy sector has been uh, widely asked by the so CASR uh, uh, Durgapur, and uh, this is called as CME RI Durgapur. Okay. And then number one, uh, September 2020, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister. Is Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister? Yogi Adityanath. Yes, and has announced to establish a textile park in which of the following cities. So it's been uh, asked very much because it is in Bareilly, Bareilly, okay, Bareilly. So, um, so you can see that. that and the uh, Ministry of Women and Child Development has signed an MOU, Women of Understanding, which of the following ministers for controlling malnutrition as a part of portion of Bihain. So, uh, it is used under, whenever you see, uh, uh, you, if you are giving uh, life to someone, see, malnutrition, it's coming under Ayush, okay. Ayush. So it is Ministry of Ayush. So the Ministry of Women and Child. Uh, so it's very important. W C D Ministry of Women and Child Development has signed an MOU with Ministry of Ayush to effort with the malnutrition in the country. So we can see that the uh, following has been appointed as the advice of the Executive Director, International Water Fund. Okay, IMF. Who is the advisory Executive Director? So he is Simha Chala. Simanchala Dash. So Simanchala Dash was appointed for this in uh, advice executive director. I am a film Washington DC. Okay. Oh, some of, many people don't know what is meant by DC. DC is democratic country. Okay. And then going ahead, we can see about uh, in September 2020, Ch Chitra uh, Chitkara University announced the launch of a four year Dopatam program uh, in collaboration with each other following. So this was in following with the you know it right. Yeah, it's gonna be Lenskart. Okay, with Lenskart, uh, Chitraga University uh, had been uh, doing with both of our program. And so you can see it over here that in collaboration with Lenskart, there is an Indian optical eyewear retinal chain. In September 2019, uh, another first of the history of Indian naval aviation. How many women officers have been selected to join as observers? Airborne tacticians in the helicopter team. There are two girls, you know that, right? Two girls. So, who are the two girls? These are two girls. You can see them, right? As observers, okay? And going to the next, uh, just comment the, below the two name of the two girls. Okay, I know that you can comment, right? Yeah, so coming to the next in September 2020, the government of India, along with which state, has signed dollar 82 billion a million loans with the World Bank for the implementation of the state roads transformation project. It is Himachal Pradesh. Okay, it is uh, Himachal Pradesh. Okay, so coming to this, Himachal, the government of India, the government of uh, Himachal Pradesh, and the World Bank. 1 plus 1 plus 1, it's like this, right? Uh, so, they made uh, this uh, transformation project, okay? Uh, in November 2020, uh, Chanduli district of which state has stopped the ranking of aspirational, uh, aspirational districts by government? Think tank Niti Ayog for September, okay? Uh, so, aspirational districts, there are... One one two districts, okay. One hundred twelve districts, okay. In which uh, Uttar Pradesh had topped. Uttar Pradesh has stopped in this one hundred twelve districts, okay. Uh, so the government of India had kept as many districts as one hundred twelve. They might be asking you this question, uh, so just uh, remember that. Uh, so Chandali district of Uttar Pradesh has stopped the ranking of aspiration district by government. Think tag think Niti Ayak for September, okay. Uh, in November 2020, which of the following has allowed Facebook owned a messaging platform WhatsApp to start its payment service in the country in a created manner? So, whenever you want to send money, 
Hey Mani, what happens is that we need to take a permission. So what happened is that they took a permission from NPCI. So what is this NPCI? National Na Payments Corporation of India. National Payments Corporation of India. It is in collaboration with RBI and IBA. So RBI is Reserve Bank of India and IBA is Indian Bank Association. So with these two things, the NPCI has been formed and the NPCI had a note for the WhatsApp payments, okay? So the National Payments Corporation of India allowed Facebook own messaging platform WhatsApp. Uh, October 2020, Chief Justice of India shared Arvind Bodbe inaugurated uh, India's first ever e uh, resource center, Nyai Kaushal at Judicial Officers Training Institute in which city? Okay. Nagapur. Nagapur, exactly. Yes, Nagapur is a city uh, where they had a uh, first ever e resource center. And also, you can uh, comment who is the CEO of India? DJS, DJS India. Okay, as for the recent study, which of the following asteroids has has an estimated worth dollars ten thousand equivalent more than the entire economy of India? It is sixteen. Pishi. Okay, sixteen. Taish. She. We will be taking as P S silent. So Taish. So just remember this sixteen, and you will get through this. Okay. Uh, so the metallic asteroid sixteen, psych that orbits between Mars. And Jupiter has an estimated worth of this much called uh, quadrillion more than the Earth's entire economy. Okay. Uh, so in, in in November 2020, which of the following biosphere reserves has been finally enlisted in UNESCO's Man and Biosphere Program? So in November 2020, which of the following is biosphere reserves has been finally enlisted in finally enlisted? Okay. So finally enlisted is Panna Biosphere Reserve. Okay, Panna Biosphere Reserve has been finally listed. So can you say how many uh, how many are there in this? Uh, how many bios reserves are there in our country? Exactly, there are twelve biospheres in our country. <clears throat> so coming to the next step, uh, in November 2020, who among the following has launched a self-help website? Bandhu for IIT for students of IIT Bombay. Uh, it is uh, Sanjay. Sanjay, yeah, Sanjay. Dutre. So we know Sanjay Dutre. He uh, he is the Union Minister of State for Education. Uh, Sanjay Dutre uh, is Union Minister for Education. You need to remember this guy name. Uh, a self help website Bandhu for students of IIT Bombay in the presence of director of IIT Bombay Professor Subhash Chowdhury. Okay. And uh, in November 2020, who among the following has launched the Code Athon campaign under which students of government schools will learn coding? Which we will be calling as coding. Government school students can learn coding. It is Manish. It is Manish, yeah. Uh, he had launched this program. Okay. Manish Sisodia. Okay, Manish Sisodia in a move to. Uh, promote STEM, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education in the national capital, Delhi. Education Minister Manish Sisodia launched the Code Athon campaign. Okay. In June 2020, who among the following has become the first Sikh woman to graduate from the U.S. Military Academy? So, who is the first Sikh? It's, they ask you Sikh woman, not woman. Sikh woman. Okay. So her name you need to comment in the session below. Are you going to do it? Yes. Okay. You're going to do it. Okay. So her name is Anmol Nagar. Okay. Uh, Anmol Nagar has made a history by becoming the first. Sorry for this. Uh, I didn't do uh, this. Is a small uh, correction. This. Okay. Yeah. So, Anmol Narak has made history by becoming the first Sikh woman to graduate from the prestigious US Military Academy in West Point. Okay. 
you are the next are you ready to do this uh, military academy again uh, in june 2020 which of the following universities has decided to set up a school of climate change and sustainability under the institute of eminence scheme okay it is university of delhi university of delhi has decided to set up a school of climate change okay um in june 2020 tropco a deep tech startups has partnered 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 with which of the following companies to launch on demand pay as you fly insurance for drones when you uh, operate drones you can also insurance that okay it is hdfc it's not a bajaj it is hdfc bajaj is for pets as we had uh, went okay so HDFC, ERGO General Insurance Co Limited, and Tropogo, a deep tech startup, have partnered to offer commercial drone owners and operators third-party liability claims over the property damage and bodily injuries. Okay, in June 2020, who has been appointed as a new director of SIDBI? Okay, uh, it is one of the important thing. It is called Small Industries Development Bank of India. uh so the ministry uh, so it is uh, none other than than devendra kumar singh devendra kumar singh has been the new director of small industries development bank of india okay as i said you before that uh, uh, sidbi see this uh, uh, logo which is very important sometimes maybe they may be asking you of this also okay so the minister of finance notified the appointment of devendra kumar singh okay uh the this uh, this is what they asked that which of the following organization have been awarded the 2020 nobel peace prize peace World prize World program by the norwegian nobel committee okay so we need to see for different things there are different uh, committees Like for peace, there is one committee. For chemistry, there is another committee. For physics, there is a committee. So just read this. For what, which committees they are, and you need to go through that. Okay. So, uh, for this award has been meant for World Food Program. Okay. And going to the next, uh, uh, it's like World Food Program has been awarded the 2020 Nobel Prize Peace Prize for its effort to combat hunger by the. Norwegian Nobel Committee, and in number one, you know which of the following cities was named World Book Capital for the year 2022 by the Director General of UNESCO. So, can you say that it is Guadalajara? Guadalajara, okay. So, we need to remember this name. It is something like different, but is in Mexico. Was named World Book Capital because there are many books in this uh, uh, region, the Mexico. Okay. And now, 2020, who among the following has won a single title in the final of the 15,000 dollar ITF Women's Tennis Tournament in Char, uh, which is in Egypt? Okay. Can you say who is that? Is Rutaja, okay. Rutaja Boshle, Rutaja Boshle had won this, okay. And uh, she is the India's female tennis player, Rutaja. You can see her over here. Uh, won her first title in three years by claiming dollar fifteen thousand ITF women's event in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt. Number twenty twenty, India's public broadcaster, Pras Prasar. Bharati has signed a memorandum uh, MOU with which of the following institution to launch 51 so 51 DTH channels for education okay india's public broadcaster prasar bharati with whom did they uh, take in the MOU it is baskacharya institute for space applications and geo informatics okay so let me show you over here uh, so this uh, they had prasar bharati and uh, b n i s a okay they took this uh, mou and did this and in july 2020 which of the following companies has partnered with cbsc to integrate artificial intelligence curriculum in 200 schools in india and ibm I yes ibm uh, is a company which has partnered with cbsc to let the 
artificial intelligence in 200 schools in India. Okay, in July 2020, the Raj Sabha Secretary has decided to start an employees welfare scheme in the name of Pitch of the Fallen. Uh, so he recently Arun Jetley, okay, as he has passed away, so they had named after him. Okay, uh, and this is the uh, 150th question uh, where we're going to go. Uh, in July 2020, which of the following assigned a contract to construct autonomous electrical vessels for ASKO Maritime AS Norway for Norway, which had given uh, to uh, construct? Okay, it is Cochin Shipyard Limited, CSL, which is in Cochin. Uh, so they had taken this uh, contract to construct. Uh, electrical vessels okay uh, you need to go through this because it's an international will be calling it as international relations okay very important and uh, so we can uh, see this uh, some of the boards over here okay yeah okay in November 2020 POSCO a company of which country has joined hands with Tata Steel Europe to uh, Develop steel tubes needed for high speed hyperloop transportation transportation uh, system. It is none other than that South Korea. South Korea uh, has joined hands with Tata Steel Europe to develop steel tubes. Okay, South Korea. You can see this hyperloop. Uh, this is one of these uh, important thing. Uh, Tata Steel Europe and South Korea is a POSCO. Uh, has joined hands to develop steel tubes and aired for high speed hyperloop transportation systems. It is a high speed thing. Okay. Yeah, thank you, friends. That's all for today. Thank you. Do share uh, and uh, let your friends know. If you had any doubts, just comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Have a great day. Good day. Bye bye.